Yves Rossi, or Fusion Man, came officially to life. 55 worldwide journalists, his team, family and friends, all were transported by helicopter at 2,000 meters high to attend a world premiere. A great flight, great day and uh, really I'm happy that everything uh, did uh, go well because um, it's really not easy to be ready at the precise time, at the precise place in front of so, so many people because it's still very prototype and uh, really I'm fantastically happy that it did work. After one year and a half of intensive training, ideal weather conditions gave Yves Rossi nine minutes of pure emotion. I could at the end uh, turn a, a little roll. I was not sure how I, f I felt because I did not train very much. I did it uh, only twice before and I felt good. So little uh, aerobatic figure. Mm -hmm. It was really, really fun. The watch brand Hublot, Yves Rossi's main sponsor, believed in him since day one. As Mr. Beaver said today, Everyone has once dreamed of flying. On Wednesday the 14th of March in Bay, Switzerland, this dream came true. <laughs> it's a dream. It's such an emotion, you know, when the man can fly. It's the fusion between men and birds. Because uh, Rossi, our friend, he flew just with the body. Moving the body makes him move in the air, you know. And it's the first time in history. So today is the achievement of a two-year dream for me, and for him it's about ten years dream. Yves Rossi had to overcome strenuous times to achieve today's success. It is the beginning of a great and unique challenge, which Hublot will continue following. Now we have other projects, other crazy projects, to cross the channel between France and, uh, and uh, England, to cross the Grand Canyon. To reach those goals, Yves Rossi needs to improve his wing. It has to become lighter and more reliable in order to fly longer. Where will this passionate man be able to fly the furthest? Only time will tell. <laughs>